One of the engines in the sheds of the Scarlery Railway is called Duncan. He's well known for being rude to the other engines, as he had worked in a factory over on the mainland many years ago. As he takes passengers or goods along the railway, he would often see enthusiasts with their cameras taking his photograph. Duncan didn't like it one bit. Photographers, how can I pay attention to the lane if they keep flashing the cameras at me? He said crossly. Well, they like engines, and their hobby is to take as many pictures as they like for their collection. Well, they should be more careful, because I'll have an axle with one someday, and they'll have to think twice. Every time he went on his journeys, more and more enthusiasts kept on taking his photograph. He whistled to them angrily and it made them quiet. Then Duncan had an idea. If I keep whistling, the maybe those enthusiasts will step back. However, his driver thought differently, but Duncan told him that it's the only way for him. The driver decided not to bother to argue with Duncan, as he can get very stubborn once he has made his mind up. Duncan enjoyed blowing his whistle all day. Even when he sees more enthusiasts, they know straight away having seen the other ones, and they won't point their cameras at him. Perfect, he said to himself. That night, the thin controller came to see Duncan at the sheds at the depot, and he didn't look very satisfied with his actions. Duncan, I had heard from some enthusiasts that you have been whistling rudely at them. Is that true? Well, yes, sir. Well, Duncan, I am ashamed of you. You should know that whistling too much to people could affect safety. Well, they keep poking their cameras at me, and it's really distracting. Well, that's no excuse, Duncan. You can always look away and carry on with your work like a sensible engine. That's common sense, unlike your idea, said the thin controller crossly, and he walked away. Ugh, what does the thin controller know? Those enthusiasts should keep their cameras out of the way. Well, Duncan, you've heard what the thin controller has said, haven't you? Yes, I have, and he doesn't know what it feels like to be an engine hunted down by those cameras, tablets and phone things that my driver keeps going on about. Well, if you keep on whistling, you might cause an accident one day. Remember the time you lost your whistle in a field? said Peter Sam. Oh, be quiet, huff Duncan. The next day, Duncan popped along the line as usual, taking a good strand of cakes to the top station for the refreshment lady. But he was still crossover last night with Peter Sam and a thin controller. I'll show them. It worked yesterday. He saw some enthusiasts standing nearby. Duncan hooted. But to his surprise, they were still taking his photograph. He saw another one at another part of the line, but still nothing worked. He tried again and again, but to no avail, and Duncan see that his plan isn't working. At Lakeside, one enthusiast was out taking some photographs of the town for his personal collection. He put himself into position to get a good picture of Duncan coming into the station. Duncan was still cross, and with a huge burst of steam, he whistled so loud that the enthusiast took quite a shock that he tumbled off the platform and fell onto the tracks. 
Duncan saw everything. Driver, stop! Oh, thank goodness you stopped in time. Oh, my leg! Call the emergency services now, shouted the driver. So the station master did. The thin controller heard the news from the signalman and ordered all trains to be halted until further notice. The emergency services arrived and helped him back to the ambulance. Duncan felt ashamed about his idea now. Peter Sam of the thin controller are right. My plan was terrible. It's an accident, of course, but I hope this will teach you a lesson about whistles. A few weeks had passed, and Duncan was waiting at the depot for the thin controller. Peter Sam pulled in with the thin controller, and Mr. Martin, the enthusiast, with a boot cast around his leg. Please, sirs, I'm truly sorry for the wee been acting with my whistle. I didn't mean to hurt anyone, and I hope you can forgive me. It was quite frightening, Duncan, but I'm glad to see that you have owned up to your foolish actions. It was an accident in the end, and it was only my leg that needs fixing. It's starting to feel better now. But remember, Duncan, whistling to enthusiasts can be surprising for them, and can cause an accident like what happened to Mr. Martin here. I hope you understand. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. And from that day on, whenever Duncan passed an enthusiast, he doesn't whistle rudely to them once. Instead, he just smiles and puffs on with a friendly toot. He always looks after anyone on the platforms that might lose their balance. After all, it's best not to repeat things from the past. <laughs>